the commission's mandate is quite huge to administers and manages all public land, uh, all community land, all uh, land belonging to public agencies. It also manages and administers uh, forest lands, uh, all lands uh, for wildlife conservancies, uh, all land for public utilities. We want to build a strong national land commission that can, that can be there for posterity and for the people of Kenya. I believe that if we get our institutions right, then I think that other things will begin to force, fall in place. The most uh, urgent thing is basically to operationalize the, the land governance mechanisms. It's not enough to have a policy. It's not enough to have legislative frameworks. It is important to review and, 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 and operationalize your institutional mechanisms, whether informal or informal, so that they guide the implementation. The government of Kenya has embarked on a system of uh, uh, titling, a titling program, so as to give people, uh, we, we normally call them in Kenya title deeds, certificates of ownership, we call a title deed, with which somebody is able, in other words, it confirms the ownership of the particular parcel of land that you have. So the government of Kenya has embarked on that right now, and it's keen to issue three million titles uh, over, over the, next, uh, the next four years. We need also to see evidence of security securing land rights, uh, and, 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 and things like reducing incidents of duplicated titles are, are, are good. Things like ensuring that when we put in place uh, mega project development projects, uh, and people lose land rights either through exploration of uh, uh, natural resources. Going forward, one sees the opportunity in that it has clearly identified the context within which the Kenyan land reforms ought to take. It has gone ahead to identify uh, those uh, issues that must be dealt with and it clearly uh, terms them special issues that require urgent action. Uh, things like historical land injustice, uh, issues of uh, women land rights, uh, land rights to minorities and marginalized groups. A robust legal framework requires a robust implementation framework which calls on all of us to put all our efforts together. Mm -hmm.